how to trade the piercing line pattern. The piercing line pattern name is given because of the signal candlestick pierces at least 50% of the previous day's candlestick. Unlike a bullish engulfing bar which consumes the previous candlestick, you would want to see that sellers tried to drag price further down before the buyers overpowered them. Normally, you would want the bullish candlestick to gap down, but in Forex, as it's a 24-hour market there are very little gaps created, in fact, you will only find them, sometimes, on a daily, weekly charts. So the next best thing is to monitor that the bullish candlestick moves down slightly before piercing the 50% level. Imagine pulling back a slingshot, you need to pull back to create a thrust forward motion. This is the same idea. Again, this pattern is seen towards the end of a downtrend thus revealing a potential reversal imminent. Let's take a quick look at the pattern. As you can see here how it is slightly different from the engulfing bar, but both provide the same signal. However, the piercing line candlestick pattern is considered slightly weaker as the bullish close price rarely closes higher than the bearish open price. It does, therefore, identify a change in momentum, which can prime you for a reversal trade. Quick action summary of the piercing line pattern. Where is it usually found? At the end of a downtrend but can appear at any point, this reduces its effectiveness. Number of candlesticks to complete pattern. 2. What type of signal is generated? Reversal. Strength of signal. Weak, can be used to provide validation and prime for a future trade what it means in terms of buyers, sellers' momentum. <laughs> the current sellers have attempted to take the price lower but the buyers have driven the price higher than the previous candlestick's midpoint.